Hello, my lovelies, Di here, and welcome back to another episode of Slime Rancher. So everything's going to look a little different here. I decided that I was going to completely revamp our home. As you can see, I added in some Largos here. Each section has a group of Largos. There are no more normal ones, except for my little puddle dudes over here. Because they're so awesome. Oh, no. Hey, buddy, get back into the water. You got to stay in the water or else you'll die. No, you did it again. Okay. So I put our puddle dudes here. They've got a nice, beautiful view overlooking the ocean. It's so nice. It's so nice. I optimized our ranch so that we can really focus and, and get pretty far in our slime science. Each area also has its own self-sustaining food. As you can see, I have some pink radiator slimes here. Well, the radiator's favorite food is the Oka Oka, so I have the Oka Oka here. Over here, I have some crystal kitties, and so I put the odd onions here, but I also know that they like chickens, so if I ever have any extra chickens laying about, I'll be able to feed them as well. So that's what we have here. Over in our grotto, we have hunter pink kitties. Now I haven't been feeding them too much lately, so there are still some pink ones in there. I just need to uh, get them some food. I also have some crystal honeys and some phosphor kitties in here. And I basically put down, oh, my trees are gone. I'm gonna have to sort of work on that. That's unfortunate. All right, well, anyways, we have our mint mangoes and we also have our cuberry tree over here. So I'll just pick up some cuberries from inside their corral there. Throw it in here. So they've got the fruit. Everybody in here will eat fruit. So this is my fruit cave. Now I'm not 100% sure what the hunters eat. I do think that they eat chickens. It would make sense that they would eat meat. Uh, but I haven't found an actual hunter slime, so there ha which I believe is going to be right here, so that's why I don't know what their favorite foods are. And in terms of the resources, I am still missing two resources. Now, both of these are missing out of the fruit and vegetable section, so it's very possible that the hunters actually like a fruit and vegetable. But again, I'm not entirely sure. It could just be stuff that they haven't added in yet. But we haven't discovered a new chicken, which is possibly why I think that the hunters don't have a favorite food. In our middle section here, I tore down everything. Everything's blank just to have open spots uh, for the future. And I have two chicken crawls going in here. I've got one that I've been throwing all my chickadoos into. And then, then as they spawn, I move them over into this one, which has all of my chickens and roosters. Now, as you can see, I do have a lot of chickens and roosters here, and I could probably just leave the two coops as is, but sometimes I like to sort them out a little bit better. So I did move my storage facility over here, but I think what I could do is add in some additional storage since we're going to need it. And I did leave my incinerator here. However, I don't necessarily need this for anything. So I'm not sure if I'm ever going to really use it. I might also tear that down just to make space for something else. Over in our gardens, which I really actually don't know what this is called. I just keep calling it my gardens. We've got our boom rocks over here. We've got radiator kitties over here. And we have phosphor hunters over here. So basically I have everything set up where the food that is already made here will be able to sustain the Largos that I created. So I've set every section up to be pretty self-sustaining, which was my original intention to begin with. So I feel like I have definitely gotten that under control. Everything was basically set up so that I would be able to optimize the amount of plorts that I was getting for our slime science. Now the one thing that I am missing is probably maybe another pink slime, as pink slimes are going to be the hot commodity when it comes to our slime science. So I may need to create another corral in the future in order to have more pink slimes coming in. Alternatively, I could just run around out in the open and pick up any pink slime plorts that may be out there. All right, now that I'm done maintaining my farm, collecting up all my plorts and depositing them, we're gonna look at some new things that I had uh, unlocked. So we have the refinery link, the pink slime lamp, the clip-on fashion pod, and the googly fashion pod. So these fashion pods basically vacuum up fashionable accessories from my slime, and then I can shoot them onto the slime to basically make them look awesome. 
So I definitely want to make these. Now they are very expensive. So do we want to do a clip-on tie or googly eyes? You know what, I think I really want the googly eyes. I feel like that's gonna be really good. I'm gonna have to save up some money in order to get these other ones. Well, we can do the refinery link. Uh, now the refinery link was actually really interesting. I'll read that one to you guys in a second. Oh, let me just go over here and find it. So the refinery link allows us to remotely deposit resources into our refinery. Now the refinery link would be really handy in situations where if I was consistently dropping extractors in the moss blanket or the indigo quarry, this way I wouldn't have to run all the way back. So I do want to make a couple of these. It looks like we can make two of them. So that'll be handy because realistically I wanted the two. Oh, I need some more Promoti oil. Hmm. All right, so maybe we might have to do a run, but at least then I can drop off one refinery link and make it a little bit easier. I also did want to pick up a couple more drills because I did want to drop those down. So we are going to make one, two, three, one. Okay, so we need, I need 30 more pink plorts in order to make uh, two more drills. Let's see if I can go quickly obtain that. Hey, what are you doing? No, you, you, get back in here, little bugger. Think you're gonna walk off with a Q-berry? I don't think so, I don't want no tars. Here, I'm putting you back in there. You, stay in there. <laughs> you can take your Q-berry back too, you little bugger. <laughs> You guys didn't want your carrot? Here you go. All right, guys. Well, we managed to get our 30 slimes and had a little bit of a situation going on in there. I didn't want no tar. One of the things that I do want to make are some uh, water turds, though. So we're going to look to see what I need for those ones as well. And I'm going to put those in each of my sections in order to prevent the tar from spreading. So hopefully that works a little bit more. So the hydro turrets need deep brine. So I'm going to need to figure out where I can get some deep brine. So it's looking like deep brine and wild honey are going to be like the two that we need the most. Now indigonium I have been picking up. I know where I need to obtain that. So that's not an issue. And I do really want to work towards the slime hoop. Ooh, the googly eyes. I forgot about those. Yeah, look at all that deep brine that we're going to need. So we're going to have to do some serious excavating. And in order to do all of that, we're really going to need to bump out some advanced pumps and stuff like that which means I'm gonna have to do some serious collecting of some pink plorts still <laughs> oh man okay well we're gonna head off to the indigo quarry in order to pick up the resources that we have there as well as place down our first refinery link okay so we're in our indigo quarry section that we had set up the first thing i want to do is place down my refinery link so i need to find an open spot hopefully there's an open spot somewhere here where we can drop that. Uh, it's looking like over in this section. So let's drop down our refinery link. We're going to install this here and then we're going to pick up. Oh, no, I don't want to pick it up. I want to keep it installed. So let's open up our little pumps and junk. Where did I place it? There it is. Yum, yum, yum. Look at that primordial oil. Okay, well, we fared pretty well uh, when it comes to our mats here. We did get some indigonium, which is good. I think we might be able to make something with that, actually. So we're just going to shoot these off into here, go back, pick up my honeycombs that I left back there that I didn't have enough space for. Stay away from these tar, let me tell you. So they're going to be working on their next round of excavating, which is pretty good. I also learned something. So 
these little treasure crackers, apparently I have to do like a bunch of excavating and then the recipe for the higher treasure trackers will become available to me the more I extract from the ground. So that's pretty uh, interesting to know. I thought that was a little fun tidbit. So now we're going to head back to our base and make our other refinery and then head over to the moss blanket. Okay, so we're finally in our moss blanket and now we can drop down our refinery link somewhere hopefully oh hey the jelly stone okay so it's looking like there's a place here where we can drop down our refinery link we'll install that and then we can just load up our little jigma jigs here oh, we got some buzz wax all right what do you got for me this time bro some polio oil and some spiral steam still no brine thank god for these refinery links because it's a long haul back to the base from here Okay, well I guess we can head back to our base now and figure out what we need to do or where we need to go in order to drop off some more pumps and stuff to be able to get the deep brine as well as some of the other resources that we seem to be missing. Okay, so we can purchase the clip-on fashion pod now and now I have absolutely no money. <laughs> Um, all right, let's make another drill. We're gonna make another advanced pipe pump. Uh, we don't have enough pink port for the apiary, but that is fine. Let's find out how much we need for the hydro turrets. We need eight deep brine. Strange diamond is another one that we need to figure out how to obtain. Lava dust and royal jelly. Okay, so our deep brine is actually found in the dry reef anywhere. It's common, so it's not a rare one. I didn't realize that some of the resources were rare and not rare, and that there were some only found in certain areas. But a majority of the ones that we do need are found everywhere. However, the drill finds certain ones, the apiary finds some certain ones, and the pump finds certain ones. So I'm pretty sure this is the dry reef here. Uh, we're just going to drop down. So for the deep brine, we need to drop down pumps. So I'm actually going to install three pumps here. Actually, we'll put another pump up here. Install that. And then the strange, the strange diamond, the lava dust, and the royal jelly also are found everywhere. And they're found from drills and apiaries. So we're going to drop down our three drills here. And then we'll put in our two apiaries here as well. Is there another spot available? Here we go. Okay, so we installed all of our drills, pumps, and apiaries. So they should be able to hopefully uh, obtain us some deep brine. It is going to take a little bit of time, about 20 minutes for each of these to spawn. But I'm not going to wait for those 20 minutes. <laughs> Okay, let's check on the fruits of our labor. So what did we get here? It's looking like we did get some deep brine this time, so that's good. We fared pretty well there for uh, our deep brine. We got four, which really wasn't as good as I was expecting us to get, but at the same time, it's not horrible either. Okay, let's see what we got from here. We got some buzzwags and some hexacomb. And we got some more bugs wax, <laughs> buzz wax and hexacomb. And there should be one more green one. Oh, maybe not. I think it's just the red ones. Ooh, a lot of jelly stone. Look at all that jelly stone. Get out of here, pink slime. You're not what I want. What'd this one give us? Gave us some slime fossils and some jelly stone. And some more slime fossils and jelly stone. So. We didn't get any of the rare stuff, but that's fine. And we also didn't really get a lot of the deep brine, but I think now we can probably make some more at least so we can have a couple more going. Okay, so I think what we can do over here is drop off a couple more pumps. Well, at least one more pump here. And I think over here we will drop off our extra apiary. And then for the drills, down here can we go down here yeah we'll go down here and we'll drop off our last two drills here and here all right guys well I think that's gonna be it for this episode we 
set down a lot of extractors, but we have to wait for them to actually extract out of the ground and harvest a little bit more resources in order to achieve the things that I would like to be able to achieve. So hopefully by our next episode, I will have attained enough deep brine in order to buy my water turrets as well as some googly eyes because I do want to get those googly eyes and start putting them on some of my slimes. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like this video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought and I look forward to playing more Slime Rancher with you guys in our next one.